Cuomo said he can destroy me. New York Assemblyman alleges governor threatened him over nursing home scandals. Oh, my God. Listen, I got to play that clip one more time. Give me a good old You got to give it a good old rub, you know. That's it. Spicy. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. Hot up. Come on. Spicy meat. Yeah, yeah boy. boy. This is a spicy meat ball. Oh, boy. Cuomo, you might be in trouble, son. There's too many stories coming out about you, baby. It's from CNN. It's just not from Fox News. It's not from Newsmax. Oh, my God. Listen, your son works for Dan CNN, baby. And them boys coming after you. They are coming after you hard. They are They are coming at you swinging, baby. Swinging, baby. Written by MJ Lee and Mark Morales of CNN. Published on Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. Let's get into this news here. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has been pleading with lawmakers to, to support um, and even threatening political retribution against Democrats who have criticized him in an aggressive effort to contain political fallout from re from revelations that his, that his administration had concealed in the full contents, the full the full extent, I should say, of nursing home related deaths during the COVID pandemic. Describing an alleged exchange with the governor that had not been previously reported, Democratic Assemblyman Ron Kim told CNN that he received a call on his cell phone from the governor last week as he was bathing his children at home. This is a Democrat. This is a, this is a, this is a person of color, a, an, an Asian person, an Asian man. So Cuomo, oh my God, you are in trouble, son. All right. This is a person of color, a person of color coming after you, baby. A person of color, a, a Democrat, a Democrat assemblyman, an actual politician who's accusing the governor of this. Governor Cuomo called me directly on Thursday to threaten my career if I did not cover up for Melissa DeRosa and what he and what and what she said. He tried to pressure me to issue a statement and it was very traumatizing. It was a very traumatizing experience, Kim said. Cuomo proceeded to tell the assemblyman that we're in the business we're, we're, we are in this business together. And we don't cross certain lines. And he said, I hadn't seen his wrath and that he can destroy me, according to Kim. Cuomo's advisor denied that the governor threatened to destroy Kim. DeRosa is a top aide to the governor who came under fire last week after she told state lawmakers in a private virtual meeting that the state had had <laughs> delayed sharing with the legislator the full scope of the COVID-related death toll of New York's nursing home residents because of concerns about a potential federal investigation by the Department of Justice. The governor's office has since released a partial transcript of the call. A partial transcript. Oh, my God. You talking about throwing some shade, baby. You, th you know what? You know it's a strange thing? It seems to me a strange thing. You know it's a strange thing, right? That all this shit come out and people aren't already in damn jail. Do you think that if you were in the middle of any of this, you wouldn't already be behind bars? Oh, what a privilege it is to be powerful. Kim, a progressive representative um, who represents Queens, uh, has been among the most vocal critics of Cuomo's handling of nursing homes during the during the pandemic and believes his own uncle died from a pre, pre, from a presumed case of COVID in a nursing home last year, participated in that virtual call. So he was actually in the call. He, he was in the call. He he heard her say this. And so he got upset because he believed that his that his own uncle died in a presumed case of COVID in, 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 a, in a nursing home. So, again, that that affected him personally. So I totally understand why this man was like, hey, you know, um, excuse me. Um, red flags here, guys. Red flags. And then Cuomo wanted to retaliate against him. Oh, my God. This is. um. It's just real, real, real. This is this is just too spicy. This is just way. Listen, I need some water. I need some. This is just way too spicy. It goes on here to say during the meeting, Kim said he called on the governor to apologize to family members who of, of those who died in assisted living living facilities. When the New York Post first reported on DeRosa's controversial comments, he was one of the participants quoted in the piece criticizing those remarks. No man has ever spoken to me like that in my entire life, Kim said on the phone call with Cuomo. At some point, he tried to emulate me asking, are you a lawyer? I didn't think so. You're not a lawyer. It almost felt like in retrospect, he was trying to bait me and anger me and say something inappropriate. I'm glad that I didn't. Kim's wife told CNN that she had overheard parts of Kim's phone call with Cuomo last week and described the governor as loud and angry. She said that she heard Cuomo saying, who do you think you are, as well as the words, my wrath, and that immediately after the phone call, her husband told her the governor threatened to destroy my life. Oh, my God. So now you have a witness saying that she also heard it, too. Mm -mm, a, 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 a woman of color, a woman of color. 
Cuomo, your career might be done, son. Listen, between the whole nursing home death thing and the people voting, you know, uh, the, the people in New York voting that your handling of it was terrible, and, and, and this, man, listen, Cuomo, your career might be done, son. Your career, oh, my God, your career might be done, son. Listen, this is a serious case. This is not some, some small-time shit, yo. It's a serious case. People... People might lose their, their freedom over this, right? People might lose their freedom over this. I'm telling you, people might lose their freedom over this. People might go to prison over this, son. This is not some, 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 some bullshit case. This is an actual serious allegation, bro. Listen, it gets worse, right? Cuomo's efforts to reach Kim appear to continue through the week, through the weekend, I should say. Kim said he received multiple calls from a no caller ID number, followed by messages from Cuomo aides saying that the governor would like to speak with him again. Kim said he did not return the phone calls. He has since hired a lawyer telling CNN that he believed this was necessary following Cuomo's first call, which made him feel that the governors had asked him to lie about what had happened in last week's virtual call. He said he has informed the governor's office that any outreach should be made through his counsel. Ho, ho, ho. So he's lowered out and he, and he said any kind of correspondence that, that you are you are you are trying to you know make to me talk to my lawyer. So he's serious. He's not playing because, again, if his wife is willing, willing to, to say that she actually heard that and suppose for a second he has a recorded phone call of this. He hasn't said anything about this yet. I haven't read anything about this yet, but I would imagine that he that he that he just might. And suppose that he left messages. And again, if the A's actually left messages multiple times, that kind of strengthens his case. This might be bad, man. This might be, again, this is a Democrat assemblyman. This is not a Republican. It's not an independent. This is a Democrat. A progressive saying this about Andrew Cuomo, who's a Democrat. Bruh, this is some bombshell. 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 When CNN first reached out to Cuomo's office for comment for this story on Tuesday, communications director Peter uh, Peter Ageminian did not directly respond or did, did did not directly respond to or deny Kim's allegation of threats from the governor in a written statement late Tuesday. Uh, Ageminian said the office would send a clarifying statement. Ultimately, the office sent a statement from the from senior advisor Rich Azo Party late Wednesday morning that said Kim's assertion that the governor said he would destroy him is false. Mm. Are you sure about that? I don't know, man. I'm smelling something. I'm smelling something fishy about the governor's claims here. I think that, that, that uh, Mr. Kim might be right here. The governor has three witnesses to his, to the conversation. The operate, the operable words were to the effect of I am from Queens too. And people still expect honor and integrity in politics. As a por <laughs> as a party said, so why do you call this man multiple times instead of instead of, instead of a meeting if he had not returned the phone calls then? Hmm? How come his wife is saying something completely different? Why would you call this man in the first place when he was a direct critic of Andrew Cuomo's uh, aide Melissa Melissa DeRosa when she made her statement that she wanted to hide things from the federal government because you know of the, the impending investigations? You know, it, it just seems Kim being who Kim is. The phone calls actually happening, multiple voicemails. It, it just seems like he's not lying here. I'm not saying that, that he couldn't be lying because, again, he could very well be lying. He could be full of shit here. He could he could be so full of shit that his eyes might turn brown. But but it just seems like a lot of what he's saying is at least at least, at least cooperated by circumstantial evidence. Now, he could very well be lying once again. But if I'm just going back... Um, if I'm just going back uh, and just looking at some of the things I already said, and the fact that CNN is reporting it like this, and Andrew Cuomo's son works for the network, ooh, this is not looking good for Cuomo, man. Cuomo said Kim's political animus dates back to 2015, to a, 20, to a 2015 bill to reform nail salons that the governor proposed and that Kim initially backed, but later opposed. Cuomo cited a New York Times report that from that year that examined financial contributions that Kim received after he flipped his his position. In that article, it taught Cuomo aid was critical of Kim. Kim said on Wednesday that he 100% stood by his allegation that Cuomo had threatened to destroy him. He said he did not receive it. He did, he did not recall Cuomo making a specific reference to Queens, but that Cuomo had asked, 
had asked him last week on the phone. Mr. Kim, are you an honorable man? Before proceeding to suggest that the honorable thing for Kim to do would be to put out a statement for of, of, of support. Once again, just asking him that question, you know, when he was bathing his children, when he's at home, that, that again, it just seems like strong arm tactics. Like, like, so, so pretty much if I don't do what you say, I'm, I'm not an honorable man. And, and use, using the, the word honorable towards an Asian like that, once again, it, it's making me question. Because once again, you know, those, these, these freaking Sicilians and like these freaking Italians, I'm not saying that all of them are like that. But there is a culture within those populations, whereas uh, they're very, very hostile towards black people and Asians and also, also Latinos is, is a very commonly known thing. It's not the case with most of them. Because most of them kind of see like the problems there, but some of them, yeah, they are like that. And Cuomo is most certainly, is most cer certainly, certainly, certainly like that. Now, in my opinion, now, do I think that most Sicilians and 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 you know Italians are like that? Of course not. I say more than ninety percent of them are completely honorable people. But there are certain people like Cuomo, like Andrew Cuomo, who say certain things that you can interpret as certainly racist. Now, with that being said, uh, Kim also. Rejected Cuomo's suggestion that he had ulterior motives for criticizing Cuomo on nursing homes uh, related COVID deaths, saying that he was deeply disappointed by the governor's handling of the matter during the pandemic. There's no undoing here. They have blood on their hands. Kim, Kim, Kim has said um, we're, we're talking about his record of performance in the last 10 months as a party's statement. Also said that Cuomo had called Kim last week to, to take issue with Kim's comments in the initial New York Post story suggested that Kim issue a new statement and that the assemblyman had agreed to do so. When no statement came, as a, as a party said, Cuomo's office followed up and did not get a response. So once again, you didn't like the way, the way that, that he gave an opinion, and so you asked him to put out a statement. Why do you even ask a man to put out a statement? No, no, no. If you have an issue with what a man says, call him to debate the issue. Don't ask a man to put out a statement. Because once again, that looks real, real shady, Cuomo. It looks really, oh my God, it looks really, really shady, Cuomo. It looks really fucking shady. I got I to gotta say, man, it looks really shady. Kim told CNN that he had not agreed to issue a new statement and that the initial New York Post story did not misquote or misinterpret him. In the days since the New York Post story, quote, Kim has been outspoken in accusing the Cuomo administration of criminal wrongdoing and a cover-up. On Tuesday, he and other Democratic New York legislators wrote a letter to colleagues in the, in the assembly accusing Cuomo of obstruction of justice and seeking support in stripping the governor of some of the expanded executive powers he has had since, since the beginning of the pandemic. State Democrats have already have, have had already been in active discussions to draft the bill to do this with a key vote likely to take place early next week, as source told previously to CNN. Kim is not the only lawmaker to receive fierce pushback and even threats from Cuomo and his top aides since last week, according to three de to, to, to three additional Democratic New York lawmakers. All spoke to CNN under the, the condition of of and of. Let me correct that. All spoke to CNN under the condition of anonymity because they were afraid of, of retribution from the governor. They said the administration had, had, had aggressively lobbied legislators to speak up in support of his handling of the nursing homes related deaths and that threats were made against those who are considering to a, a vote to strip Cuomo of his emergency powers. All three legislators said that they were aware of outreach from the governor in which he clearly suggested or explicitly threatened political retaliation if they did not stand by him. One of them, a New York state senator, who said uh, they had not been contacted by Cuomo but heard di directly from multiple colleagues whom Cuomo had reached out to, said the governor threatened those colleagues with retribution, including warning some that he could, he, that he could ruin their political careers if they supported weakening Cuomo's executive powers. In other cases, the administration was persistent in asking lawmakers to come up to come to Cuomo's defense, including by releasing supportive statements regarding last week's virtual meeting. A member of the New York Assembly said they had heard from multiple colleagues who had received messages from the administration su suggesting language that legislators could release after DeRosa's controversial comments were made public. Members were encouraged to say that the virtual call had been productive and that legislators were, were, reassured, were, were reassured, I should say, that their requests for information will be prioritized going forward. 
according to this assembly member who described similar messages that multiple colleagues have received from members of the administration. Cuomo had, has received widespread bipartisan criticism of, on, on his handling of, of nursing homes related deaths during this pandemic. His office did, did, did not deny allegations that Cuomo threatened other New York legislators. So he threatened him. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me. I'm going to quote that. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. You mean to tell me he actually did that? Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Enough from the clown. Andrew Cuomo, you're a clown, man. And I think you might be, you, you're about to pay the price for it.